Give me a statement what where Jesus, well, give me a statement where Jesus claims to be God. Okay. Now, very important, and I'm not going back on what I said. Yeah. Please. Yes. I'm yes. not going back on what I said. But I'll give you one example. There's so many. My mind is limited. My rational thinking is limited. There are many hats of thinking, not just rationality. Salama. Yeah. Not just rationality. Yes. So we can't, we can't, we, I cannot say this is how God is, this is the rational, this is what it's made up of, and then therefore that makes sense to me, and that's how it is. No, you can't do that. So I start opening like this, you just go a little bit, and that way we have interchanging. It's better than me one hour talking, yeah, no, you no, one no, hour no, talking, no, no. we're going to get lost. Yeah, look, for us, there are, there are so many ways of... Uh, telling who Allah is, yeah? yeah. However, I'm going to go to to um, something which uh, the scholars do say. So Allah Jalla wa Ala, alamun, alamun ala dat, and I will translate it. Thank you. Wajib al wujud, munazzahun an al naqais, sahib al kamalat. So that Allah Jalla wa Ala is a proper name. Denoting the essence of Allah, okay? Wajib al wujud, it means a necessary existence. Necessary existence. Without Him, there is nothing. But He was before, He will be the last. And because He is the, the deity, He created. So He's a creator in here. So the necessary, necessary uh, existence. Then He is, He is, He is, um, uh, how, how much? He is free of all free of all things that would that would kind of uh, the, uh, like what we call the negative treats so he is free of all negative treats then all the all the best attributes and names are his so all the good things is his now this is in a nutshell what we say about allah jalla wa ala. but when you speak about allah jalla wa ala, you didn't give us this, so I didn't hear from you the the necessary the necessary existence. Okay. I didn't hear from you uh, lots of things okay. which would which would be. So I think like, like our our kind of introduction to who Allah is, we and we, we 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 do it by saying who He is and how why His name is Allah, and then we move on to kind of either make Him free of uh, of any negative traits and affirm all the good characters. And names and attributes that belongs to Allah. This is this is in a nutshell our introduction to Allah Jalla wa Ala. So in a nutshell, he's a necessary. When you he, mean necessary, what do you mean that? That he's not caused. He's not caused. Cool, of course. He's not caused. He is pre-existent. He's, he's pre. He's pre-existing. Yes. He exists and he will always exist. Beginning and end. And then, no, there is no end to Allah Jalla wa Ala. The beginning is outside of time. Outside of time. That's because, it. Now. Let's be here now. I was going to say be honest, but I know you're honest. But it's like saying that Alpha and Omega. Well, no, we don't apply Alpha or Omega to that because Alpha or Omega tomorrow you can create a, tomorrow you can create a, a word or a letter in Greek and add it. Because look, languages are, are created. Yeah. Languages are created, and since languages are created, can be then can be no. Tomorrow you can add something. Yes. L let me tell you one thing. You know, in Spanish, in Spanish. Spanish in um, uh, like the um, double L, they can pronounce it as Y. Yes, it has different and, meanings. And, and they can pronounce it as J. So they can say Yubia, Ejubia. Yeah? But in some, in the South American one, they don't have it. So look, they took it away from the Spanish uh, alphabet. Now, if I am to say that Allah Jalla wa Ala is the Alpha and Omega, tomorrow there can, there can be an, a different letter and he will say, oh, you're saying Alpha and Omega, but look, there is something before him. So that's why I'm not going to use uh, Alpha and Omega. I say yeah. the, the beginning without beginning and the end without the uh, end. Pre-existed, exists, and will always exist. That's okay. it. So this is good. So we agree here. And we've got to be careful you don't become Christian or I become Muslim. Now we be careful. We just say what we agree. What we agree. <laughs> so what we Shake agree. Shake hands over it. There's a creator. We agree. We agree there's no beginning or end. No, nothing created. He's not created. He's, do you agree? 
He's an uncreated enemy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's an uncaused. He's an uncaused. So we agree this. So we agree even there. Yeah. And we agree he's omnipresent. He's everywhere. Omni omniscient. Omniscient? No, 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 we differ on that one. That one we differ on. No, what, on what? On the omnipresence? On the omnipresence, we differ on, yeah, on, no. on it. So on that one, we will go on. Let's go on to the... Okay. Let's agree on the things we agree first. Okay, okay. It's omniscient. He's all-powerful. Omnipotent, omnipotent. Omniscient is knowledge. He knows everything. He knows everything. He's, he's omnipotent, so that's his might, his strength and that. He all is... He we is, agree. Yeah. Uncaused. He's the causer. Yeah. He's the causer of everything. We agree. So this is this is a. Uh, but okay. now let's go to. So now we go omnis to um, um, uh, No omnipresence. So the one thing now where we can't agree is omnipresence. Let me tell you so what's omnipresent for us. God, the okay. Is. Okay. It's easy for us Muslims. Omnipresent. Omnipresent. That Allah is is present with His knowledge. But he's not like divided into pieces like in this one and in the other one and the other one and because that that ends up like pantheism. Okay. That's like pantheism. So every God is in everywhere. It's not like that. For us Muslim, God is above the heavens, above his throne, above his throne, above the heavens, yeah. and he is yeah. And he is, his knowledge is everywhere. So he knows, he knows about two of us standing here, yeah. talking, and he knows what we talk, he understands. But at the same time, he knows what someone does in China. At the same time, the same time, he knows what the ant that is absolutely deep in earth is doing. Okay. He, his knowledge is everywhere. But as, as a, an, an entity, entity, he's not here with us. His knowledge is with us. Okay. So now here is a, this is where we go stage three or four or whatever, <coughs> where we as Eastern Orthodox Christians believe his power and he is everywhere. But where do you find him? In, within ourselves. You find him here. Explain, can, explain. Okay. So now it gets, this is where we need humility. And just what I say now, leave it there on the shelf, but it's a good to keep in memory. How do we know he's inside us? Because we can access him through humility, through afflictions and suffering, love, love the neighbor, love everybody. Block and get, and it's very important this, very important. Yeah. Please believe me now. Believe what I'm saying. We uh, be careful of the passions through our senses. It's not easy, and not many people achieve this, but we don't have temptations or through the bodily passions, fasting, prayer, prostration, taking Holy Communion. This is another thing we're going to get deeper. But when we follow this road, we will experience supernaturally inside us. Then God gives us, God gives us rewards or or he gives us please be patient one minute so I can yeah, find yeah, the yeah. right word. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, gives us it. gifts to heal or to prophesy or, or ministry or there, ministry there yeah things. preaching and all that yeah. and we know these are supernatural effects within us if we go I could be very quick Mount Athos or where the monastery St. Catherine's monastery in Egypt you go to monasteries all throughout history we have many saints they pray like the Moses, Moses in Egypt, and he pray in his cell when he reached that point where he touched and found God there. His cell will be full of bright light. His eyes will be light. And we have many, 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 many things, miracles like this that detest to this kind of thing. I just okay. touched on something. But do you believe? Uh, you, know, you can put it here. Because, because it, it messes with the... No, you, sure. mustn't, yeah, yeah. you mustn't confuse we don't believe God is in the toilet. Yeah. We don't believe. But he breathed through the Holy Spirit and the grace okay. inside you. Okay. We find it there. Okay. You tell me. Okay. Now, this what as I said to you, as I said to you, you talked about like uh, giving uh, Allah Jalla wa Ala would give some people, not all the people of course, some powers, for example, to heal or so, some powers even to make, to, to make prophesizing. But Miracles. my, I, I don't want to talk about this. Okay. We're talking about God. And his and his and his essences, yeah. and his essence and his that. Do you believe that Jesus is God? 
Okay, we, I will answer that, but it's because you asked me. How do yeah. you know? That's why I yeah. said. No, that's that. what I mean. No. Now, do we believe Jesus is it's God? So, we believe, obviously, I believe, we believe these things. Are God. There's the God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We believe this Trinity. So you can say, but one plus one plus one is three. Three gods. Yeah. But why did you go to that? Why didn't you say one times one times one? So what do we choose? So we cannot. Now, we know in Philippians it says, not many can understand. It's not easy for man to understand this, which is a truth. It's yeah. not easy to understand. Yeah. We assume that God has to give all revelation to all human beings and everyone should know everything. Yes. But there are certain mysteries, there are certain things. It's not easy to understand rationally, but from experience. I'm, I'm listening to you. you yeah. Not, but through experience, you could know. Uh, just for you to know, I'm listening to yeah, you. I know, yeah. I know, don't worry. So, yeah, go ahead. So we believe the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We believe there was progressive revelation from the beginning, from uh, from um, Genesis to Revelation, and the progressive revelation. And we believe that Jesus, He came down as as become man, hundred percent man, hundred percent divine, and He fulfilled all these prophecies in the Old Okay. Testament. So, so what, what, let's agree in one thing. Let's agree in one thing. This Jesus we talk about is a Jesus who is 100% human, 100% divine. Correct. So if I take the humanity from Jesus, yeah. will he be Jesus? If I take the 100% humanity and I just... He will be the son of God, yes. Okay. If I, take the, the, if I take the deity and live the humanity, would that be Jesus? It would just be a human being. A human being. Okay, then. It's a good thing. Now, look. Acts 2.22. Yes. Now we talk about Cephas. I don't like to call him Peter. I'm going to call him with the name that Jesus, peace be upon him, gave him, okay. which is an Aramaic name, and it is similar in is similar in in in, uh, in Arabic. Safa, Safa, Cephas. Yeah. For you is Piet, uh, Pietro. Uh, Pietro. Okay. So this is one of the disciples of Jesus, peace be upon him. He Sorry, was with him. Hmm? Can I interrupt you one second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Why? Because we, we. All right, you don't have to. But no, no. But, but, why is he called Peter? What does Peter mean in Greek? But that's another thing. Yeah, yeah. We no, go it's, back it's, now. It's, no, no. I'll tell you why. It's because, Peter. because, because what the, what Jesus said? He said that he, the church will be built on him, and we know that the Vatican. He is the originator of the Vatican. So I know, I know this. I know this. But. Uh, all right, all right. خلاص ها خلاص خلاص. Turn, turn it off. Uh, uh, turn, I said turn it off. That's it. So, so what happened is Acts two twenty two. Jesus, this is Jesus. The Nazarene, yes. a man attested to you by God. So he's attest attested. So that means he is a subordinate. He's a subordinate. Attested. Can I, can I answer that point? Uh, let me uh, yes, read the scriptures yeah, and yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A man attested to you by God with yeah. miracles and wonders and signs. Yep. With God, which God performed through him in your midst, just as you yourselves know. So this is Cephas. You have no right to say excuse. You have no right. Please, yeah, please. Please. Please, please. please right, right, please, yeah. For me, yeah, for me. For me, yeah. That's it. So in here we have got Paul, I mean Peter, uh, Cephas, who has been with Jesus, peace be upon him, during his ministry. And you know that his ministry, according to you, lasted for three years. He started preaching when he was 30 and he disappeared uh, for us. He, was, he ascended to, uh, to God when he was 33. It only took his, uh, his ministry three years. Yeah. Now, having said that, how come that Paul, who's been with him, he says about uh, Peter, sorry, Cephas, that was with him, says about him that he's a mere man, and that he has been all the miracles he did, he did, everything else he did was Allah. It's Allah that did them through him. And you, George, you say he's co-equal. 
co not only co-equal, he is co-equal, and he is also... 100% uh, uh, God. 100%, yeah, and we here is a man. So what, what's your answer to this? Okay. Peter said he is a man, a mere man, and he performed the miracles from God. Yes, God not performed true. the miracles through him. Yes, that's true. So you say in God, Jesus, some people they say Jesus is God himself. He is. Just because he said that, that doesn't mean he doesn't, he, he doesn't mean he didn't believe he was God. Because he died. He died, the martyr's death. He died, the martyr's death, Peter. And plus, you pick one verse. There's so many other verses where it shows okay. where Jesus uh, claimed to be God. Okay, uh, w give me a statement what where Jesus, w give me a statement where Jesus claims to be God. Okay. Now, very important, and I'm not going back on what I said. Yeah. Please. Yes, I'm yes. not going back on what I said. I'll give you one example. There's so many. When the shaitan was trying to tempt Jesus, what did Jesus say to him? Please, I can't remember the exact verse. You more, you more. Verse no, he, he, he what told did him, he say to him? He, he, told, he told him off. He kind of like told him off. But indeed, I've got. What do you mean? What do you mean, told him off? Let what me, let me, think? because I don't like to twist uh, don't the scriptures. Tempt, don't tempt God. Yeah, well, no. Did he mean, did he mean God? Because look, in the Bible, in the Bible, God, God is known like when you say somebody is son of God, it means just a servant of God. We have to look. Translation, anybody that is uh, multilingual will tell you that lots of, uh, lots, lots, uh, hence the phrase, lost in translation lots of, lots of the meanings they are lost in translation so it doesn't mean when 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 the the sephardis the pharisees pharisees when the pharisees accused jesus peace be upon him okay what happened there he turned around to them doesn't it, don't you find in your scriptures that he uh, called gods so so this this uh, this god and that it's nothing Okay. It's nothing. So because at that time, uh, allow me to allow me to finish, please. So this is it's a terminology. It's a kind of a, a lexicon that was used at, the, at that era, at that time. Okay. You see, for so me, for me, okay. So he wants yeah. to ask a question. The yeah. Muslims they say La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Isn't that shirk? No. Isn't that uh, associating with the name no. of God with someone Why? specific? Why? Why? Because the name of God is unique. So, so, so I take it you are not a Muslim then? I'm a, I'm a believer. I'm not a Muslim. You're not a Muslim, okay. Okay, let me, uh, George, let me an answer no, no, his no, question no, no. quickly, yeah. You, do you speak Arabic? Yeah. Okay, you speak Arabic. So you will be aware of the grammar in Arabic? Well, I, I, I would say that Arabic is my Arabic grammar. Is better than English. Okay. Look, Ashhadu, I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a prophet and messenger. What is shirk in here? Okay. If he said he is the prophet and messenger of God, uh -huh. and he is the last, uh -huh. So what is the shirk? That means uh, the rest, me and you and all the rest, uh -huh. are not messengers of God. Oh well, yeah, well, you're not a messenger of God, and I'm not a messenger of God. We are messengers. Let's, let's okay. finish. Let, let me, let me, uh, let me uh, deal with it's it. Because, good point, good point. Yeah, but, but let, us, let us go back so to... So uh, we have to stick to the point. You said, oh, the meaning, the meaning is a general statement, respectfully. Yes. He was tempting God. He was tempting Jesus. Christ. Tempting him. I will give you this. You can have that. You can. And he turned, don't tempt God. He said. This is a very big thing. Don't tempt God. It's very clear to me. But leave that one passage. Let's go another passage. When Moses said to God, Who shall I say sent me when he had to go and speak to Pharaoh? God said to him, Tell him, I am who I am sent you. Very clear. So when they asked Jesus who you are, Jesus used exactly the same. I am who I am. What did the Jews do? Look at it. The Jews picked up stones to kill him. Why? Why did they pick up stones to Jesus kill him? Because he equated himself to God. It's very simple. We're trying to make complicated. It's very clear. When you try to claim or use God's name in vain, God. Yeah. 
is very serious in those days. Me and you, we freely mentioned God, God, God. Then time yeah. to say God is like blasphemy. So when Jesus was resurrected, he, walked, he said to Thomas, touch my hand. Jesus, Thomas said, my Lord, my God. Jesus didn't correct him and say, do not use the Lord's name in vain. There are many, many passages, you know very well, there are many, many passages okay. which well, let me, does actually say... Let me, let me answer you on that, because you, you've, you've said so and, many and things. Not last, uh, no, there are many things I want to yeah. say, but carry on. Okay. First of all, we, let's go to what you said. Ishari, Ishari. That's, that's the one in Hebrew. Ishari, Ishari. That, that in itself, it doesn't mean that I am is one of the names of God. And I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you why. Okay, no, did, okay. Let's agree. No, why did, did they, Jesus... Why did they get the stone to stone him? Did that, did... When he said that. Okay, just allow me to finish, yes, sorry, George. Sorry. So, so Jesus... So Jesus... Did, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, the, uh, Jesus himself said, I am the way. Yeah. I am the bread. And the truth. And I'm the truth. And the life. And no, the life. No, but, no, but this, no, no, I am. No, no. He's saying, he said, I, I am. The the I am. I am. I'm the Alpha and the Mika. Just like yeah, in the yeah, Quran. yeah, yeah. But look, like look, look, look. But look, you, you mentioned uh, Melchizedek. Melchizedek. He has got no beginning, no he, end. He was Jesus. No, he wasn't he Jesus. Was. He, he existed. He existed at the time of Abraham. He was Jesus. How was he Jesus? We believe he was God and he was Jesus. You have got nothing to support it with. You know the truth? You know, you have, know what it I is? I have a lot of support. I've got a lot of support to show this. Yeah. I will give it. It's a very deep subject. Okay. J. Dyer. D-Y-E-R. Yeah, yeah, Dyer, Dyer, Dyer. He Dyer. speaks about and proves that he is... Please let me finish now. It's very important. Please, sorry. He proves that Melchizedek is Jesus himself. And he also, because he also talks about the true church of the Eastern Orthodox, because the the royal priesthood was part was started with Aaron. Ma yes, yes. Ma 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 yes. Moses' uh, brother was it? Yeah, Moses' brother. Yeah. And that royal priesthood was the Jews carried on, but then 70 AD when Rome was destroyed, the temple was destroyed. But who carried on that royal priesthood? The incense. The altar and the worship, which in Leviticus, God was very specific about how He wanted to be worshipped. So it's very big. Okay. Very important. So, 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 Carry on. so why, why in, why in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy six, chapter six, verse four, again, again, it says, it says, "Hear you, Israel, the Lord, our uh, 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 Shema, Shema, Israel, Adonai, 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 Adonai Achad." Lord is one. Yeah. So one. Yeah. So when it says one. Is this one compact or is it like divided? Well, look at it. Okay, stop there slowly. As I said before, we Orthodox Christians believe that. Yeah. God is one. Hero Israel, hero speakers corner. The Lord our God is one. But, okay. but is, now, is, is, is Jesus God? Is Jesus one God? One minute, one minute. No, 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 no. I'm, yes. I'm answering your question. In Genesis, yeah. when. Uh, uh, right in Genesis 3, I think it says, is not, it's a, it's a, it's a, the Hebrew word is a multicity in the unity. It's a plurality in one unity. Like a marriage is one, but there's two. Two people in a marriage. And it's exactly the same there. Okay. We don't disagree. Okay, so, so the disciples of Jesus, the disciples of Jesus are also God. No. Didn't he say, as I am, I am, as I'm in my father, I am in you. Yes. Didn't he say that? So he, he, he got them, enough. he got them with that. So, but let me, let me. Yeah. If you yeah. want to answer, I can answer, but it's up to you. No, let's I have it, a, you. let's have it like, yeah, yeah. look, I don't time you, you don't time no, me. No, no, yeah, yeah. But you see, I'd speak a little and I'll let you yeah, speak. No, so it's you. not, a, Thank you, but, but what I wanted to say is, when you look at the at the uh, Old Testament and New Testament, Jesus, peace be upon him, he never ever claimed deity. He never claimed it. When you finish on. He never claimed it. Now, to say that he is, to say that he is God, for example, let's go to the omniscience. 
Jesus is omniscient. This is one of the attributes of God. We agree on it. Did Jesus know about the fig tree? Did he know about the hour? Okay. In Philippians, no, in Philipp he chose not to sell. Yeah. How? In, in Philippians, in Philippians, he says he emptied himself, came down. What did he empty himself of? And he came down to become man, to show as an example for us to be sinless. We will never become sinless, but to be sinless. But, and to die on the cross, to shed his blood, as he was the sacrifice. So, as man, of course, he went to the toilet, he sat the net, he was talking like me and you, and he was like a normal human being. So he was limited there. So, so where, 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 was his where, where was his deity? But, 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 where was his deity? Well, he had power over um, creation. Okay. He, he had power. He had power over creation. Yeah, he demonstrated. Jesus. He demonstrated. In what? He walked on the water. He stopped the storm. Th that's miracle that Allah performed through him. One minute. One minute. It, the yeah. Acts, Acts 2.22, yeah, yeah. Peter that was with him said that he is a man whom God has performed miracles yes. Th yes. through yes. him, yes. through him, yes. through him. So he picked up, he spoke with authority. We will, please let me answer. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Thank you. So he got the, he got earth from dust, whatever. He healed the eyes. He done exactly what God was, but he was doing what God was doing in Genesis, created man from the dust. He was doing supernatural things. Not please and finish. Throughout history, nobody has done that. But he spoke with authority. He will judge. He said he judges. Only God can judge. Only God can judge. So you see, he showed he done many things. What you're doing, you're nitpicking one thing. I no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. George, you, 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 are, you accusing me of something which I'm not doing, which I'm not doing. No, no. no. Listen, we, we're speaking about the attributes of God, yeah? And the attributes of God, omniscience, is one of them. So I am telling you, I am telling you, no, this is important because, because you call Jesus a liar. I don't know if you've done it on purpose or not, but look, look, did Jesus know, knew, did Jesus know about the fig tree? That it was out of season, out of se you said he chose, he chose. Yes. Okay, did he know about the hour? Yes. Okay, so why did he say that he does not know of that hour, of that hour, yeah? That he does not know anything about the hour. So he lied, no, if I know, no. okay. Carry on. Gentlemen, if I say, if I know something, and I, I tell you that I do not know, is that a lie or not? I mean, with all honesty. It depends if you're omniscient or not. No, but, but even if I'm omniscient, sir, if you ask me, if you ask me what, what's the time, and I look at the time, yes. and I see it's four o'clock, for example, and I say to you, I do not know. But I know. Is that a lie? Or is it... Uh, because remember, we're talking about Jesus who is and fully human, fully, fully divine. Yeah. yeah. So this, 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 this ent entity which is, has got 100% divinity and 100% and 100% uh, uh, human side to it, choose, according to our friend George in here, choose not to answer, although he knows the answer. But we have got him saying, of that hour, nobody knows, not the angels in heaven, not the son of man, but he who sent him is the one that knows about it. So, so, so in here, Jesus did not know. An answer. Yeah. In your By the way, my name is Ibn Hazm. The premise What's of your name? question? Jack. Jack. Nice to meet you. The, prem the premise of your question is that whatever Jesus is asked, he has to answer. He doesn't have to answer. Now, in relation to that question, I'll ask you something to help answer this. Okay. Jesus said the Father is greater than I. Mm -hmm. What does he mean by that? The Father is greater than I. Yeah, so that he's a subordinate. In this is my way, answer. In what way? A subordinate. Like, like so look, I'm a general in the army. A major is my subordinate. He cannot be equal to me. So, so if he says that... No. If he says... He did not specify any role. He says that the Father is greater than I. Yeah. That's it. Well, so and, the, and then he called him my God. When, when uh, Mary Magdalene came to see him and she went to touch him, he said, touch me not. 
for I haven't ascended to my father yet. But go to the disciples and tell them that Jesus of Nazarene is going to his, to my Lord and your Lord, my God, my father and your father, sorry, my father and your father, and my God and your God. He called the father his God, his God. Yeah. So, so that means he is a subordinate. He cannot be co-equal to God. If I'm, he's a major, he's a general and I'm general. He has no power over me, and I have no power over him. Five stars, five stars. So it's the then, same. When he said, the Father and I are one, what did he mean by that? The, okay, the Father and I are one. I'll explain it to you. When God was performing, as in Act 222, there is Act 222, where Peter says, Jesus, a man from, uh, from Nazareth, he is a man from God, through whom? through whom God has, I'm very, uh, I'm just like trying to say, it's not how it's uh, written, but I'm just kind of uh, uh, verbatim, yeah? So he said that he performed miracles through him. Through, and this is Paul, the apostle, who was with Jesus all the time. He's one of his apostles. So, so in here, we see again that Jesus is a subordinate. He cannot do anything of himself except by the power of God the Almighty has given him. Now, this, this, this is what you said, are, are, uh, are one, okay? Yeah, no, are one in what? That God is performing miracles through him. So anything that God wants to perform is performed through Jesus. Wasn't it the same? Sorry, wasn't it the same with Moses? Did Moses open, divided the sea? No. Because of his own. No. no. Moses didn't say he's the Alpha and the Omega. Yeah. Moses didn't say I'm the beginning and the end. Moses didn't say he. Jack, don't worry. Don't worry, Jack. More things. So, the Father is greater than I means something. It means in role. Just like he came down, he emptied himself when in the Garden of Gethsemane he said, Jesus, let it be according to your will. Ah, you just debunked yourself. No, you just debunked myself. yourself. Let me finish. Please let me finish. Okay. So, don't take a long time. Then he said, no, what he's saying is in role. So, in a role, he's doing according to the Father's will. So, then he said the Father... George, don't go on and on and on, because you, 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 you say so many and then I have to... Well, there's many, there's many yeah, well, well, let's take it one by one. What I want to say, what I want to say is, please let me... Summarize, summarize, oh, summarize. So, so then, then he says, the Father and I are one. So, they're one in will, they're one in, in as God. They are one as God. In so, purpose, so, in purpose, so, in purpose, so, in purpose. So, I you said to me to be quick, I'm going to be very quick here. So, as you can see here, you can pick a verse from the Bible, and another verse, and I can pick another verse, and another verse. No, no, I'm, I'm going, I'm going you're with the... Go no, no, finish. you go, you go finish, because you're so taking I'm time, saying, that's what I do. I'm saying it, but you said earlier on the video, please don't cut it out, we've got a lot of time. Yeah, no, no, but no, so why now no, 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 George, George, the reason why, uh, let me get to you the reason why, George. Because you bring you bring in so many points, yeah. and I'm not taking notes down. I'm not you taking down. That's that's all. You clever. You know. Listen, respect the lesson. Listen. Yeah, yeah. No problem. No problem. So now, what I'm saying is, for the sake of argument and to save time, you can pick many verses. I can pick counter verses, and we get into discussion, and we're going to go round and round in circles. But that's not all. Where we are ignoring, because we're talking the same topic, is Jesus God. This is the problem. This is where we've got our problem. Okay. This is our discussion. Okay. So we are ignoring so many more serious, bigger okay. things. For example, what do you do with all them hundreds of prophecies in the Old Testament? When it said, <laughs> and in Daniel, and in Isaiah, how it's going to be born, where it's going to be born, when it's going to be born. Didn't Jesus, didn't they say he would be called Emmanuel? No, 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 yeah, no, no, God with us, God with us, God whoa, with us, whoa, but hang whoa, on. Whoa, I'm telling you, it's God with us. Yeah, but hang on, hang on, so hang on, hang on, there. hang on, George, this Emmanuel, is, this Emmanuel actually destroys you, and I'll tell you why, because at the time, at the time of this prophecy, at the time of this prophecy, there, there was the two, the two kings, Judea and Samaria, yeah, yep. and this was prophesied, prophesied for the Judeans, for the Judeans, it was prophesied. And if you go, if you go to the Hebrew word of the Virgin, is ha alma, ha 
Alma. And her Alma it means a young one. It doesn't mean a virgin. It means a young one. And you can refer to it no. in... You see, I just spoken for 30 seconds and you are You're right. You're right. Carry on. So, Ha Alma is Hebrew for a young a young woman. Answer, 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 him. Yes. We're not going to worship something that we do not know. Do you know him? Well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a Muslim, as you could tell. So I don't know him like in persona, but I know of him through description, through the description he gave himself. But you can know him personally. How, how is that, sir? By trusting him. I trust well, I put my trust in him. Trusting what Jesus said. And I, I have no difference with you. you. You can know. You can know God personally. Yeah. yeah. And that's, all I, that's just my testimony. Okay. okay, sir, look. I know God through whatever he told us through his messengers. Certainly. You see, when I open the Bible, sir, and I read the Bible, and I've been reading the Bible for a long time. You can have a personal relationship with him. Yeah. You can know him intimately, not just through knowledge of the word, which we've all read. Yeah, but, 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 but for me, me, sir, Jesus is not God, and he can I, never I know, be God. I know, I know. And, so you see, he's a subordinate. I can't argue that with you. I can just say, I know him personally. Yeah, and, and, I, I, and I believe I'm, you can. And I'm, and I'm, sir, right, yeah. Virgin, but young Thanks very much. You, young you have a lovely time, yeah? Anyway, anyway, leave it like that. Leave it like this. Thank you. We've had a lovely discussion. We cut off now. But we're going to talk again, yeah? Yeah. And I apologize to keep on. No, 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 no. You know, it's, yeah, no, it's always, it's always, it's always Turn a pleasure to talk to you, yeah? The, the historic context at that time, the century to Greek speaking Jews.